So let's take a look at end of day and some back office processing and features. So at the end of the day, we have cashier operations button. So our cashier operations, this is good for not only end of day, but any cashier operations that you need. So you have the ability to remove tender or float or do account throughout the day. You can do your X report, which would show where you are with totals for the day. And the Z report will not only show you the totals, but it'll also close out your day. So let's take a look at our X report here. And this shows all of the sales that we've done and breaks it down by cash, credit card, on account purchases, and gift card purchases. Okay. So we'll go here and we'll take a look at the back office portion. The touch screen that we were using is entirely customizable. So we had it set up for our needs, but really you can work with your partner with Western to determine what would be most functional and most helpful for your cashiers to work as efficiently as possible when checking out your customers. So we'll take a look at the point of sale layout here. We have one default layout set up for our demo purposes, but you could have several POS layouts set up. Maybe you have, for instance, a general cashiers, but then you have a customer service desk and their needs might be a little bit different. You want the look of that layout screen to be different. You could have as many different layouts as you wanted or you find necessary. Maybe different stores sell different products and so you want that layout to be a little bit different. We'll take a look here at our default layout. And this shows where, for instance, the logo is going, where that customer header information is. And here's our touchscreen touchpad. So all of these boxes, you can just drag and drop and choose to edit as you like. So no coding required. This is all setup driven. We can move things around. We can change the size. And we can edit colors as needed. So let's take a look at the touchscreen designer, because I think that's where things get really interesting. So again, same with the point of sale layout itself. The touchscreen layouts can be, you can have as many as you want depending on your needs. So let's take a look at our default here. And you'll see that there are several pages of touchscreen buttons that we had, or several layers, if you will. So our default page looks like this. And when we choose one of these buttons, again, same thing with the point of sale layout. We can make them smaller, make them larger, we can move them around. Maybe you don't want the buttons to be this size. Maybe you need larger buttons and you don't mind having fewer, or some of this functionality isn't needed for you and you'd rather have more of these fast buttons. You can design it how you want and change the colors as needed. And you'll see when we choose the button, we actually look at what the action is here. It's doing an item lookup in a nav table. So it's looking for any item where the item number equals 1908. And so that's all that button is. So you can see how easily you could start to design it and really leverage the power of nav here at the point of sale without having to do really difficult, intricate customization work. You can tailor the system to your needs. Same thing when you look at the suspend sale and retrieve sale. Look at the action that's actually going on behind this button. And it's really just running the object code unit POS park document. So it's parking that POS document and the retrieve button is just getting that parked document. So again, it's all based on standard nav filters. And if you can filter on an item, filter on a description, if you can make it happen in nav, you can have a button that produces that same result. This is that products button, so we hit more products. And we went back here and you see a bunch of items. Same thing, it's just looking up specific items. In this case, it's looking up item categories. So maybe instead of pulling in a bicycle, you wanted to pull in any bicycle related parts or any wheel related parts, you can have a button that does that as well. Okay, so now you can see how you can start to customize the system for your needs.